guys, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. It is beautiful out here. Just gorgeous. I mean, look at this. This is just amazing. This is just amazing. Now, first day I think I've actually been in a shop in short sleeves too, of all things. Just a beautiful day. Well, the family's out doing chores, uh, yard and such like that, and we just finished up lunch. And I thought, well, before I get back to doing some more knives, I wanted to share with you a new knife. So uh, come on in. Now, one thing I've learned is this Nikon doesn't have the best uh, um, auto adjust for lighting. And so I have to give it a little pause. So hopefully it's not too bad right now, guys. But, uh, well, today's video, oh, here, I'll show you these real quick. For you that might uh, be following the channel, these are the first three uh, warriors going out for Warrior Poet Society. I just got them glued up today and uh, really stoked, so they're drying right now. They're setting up, and I'll be uh, shaping them and everything uh, probably tomorrow and looking to get them out shortly. Um, these are these are due. It's, uh, if you're ordering one of them, you got about six or eight weeks. Um, I've got ten in the works. So uh, uh, that's going pretty good, but uh, it's uh, probably, you know, uh, mid-May, uh, when you're watching this, 2018, all the way till mid-June, July, that kind of stuff. That's when the orders are going to be getting sent out, but let's get to this knife. Okay, well, this is a, uh, this is a Rogue, and um, ours is like we're naming those Warriors, but this is a Rogue, and this doesn't have a home. It actually, um, I actually had a Rogue of my own and ended up selling it. Maybe, I think you guys are crooked. Oops. Oh my goodness, the arm's broke. Jesus, everything's falling apart in this. I'll have to do a review on this tripod I'm using for the camera because the handle's broke on it and didn't last very long. And I leave it in the shop most of the time. But uh, anyhow, so yeah, so I did a rogue for myself a while back. It was olive drab, acid stone wash finish. And that's what prompted uh, the series of the Warrior Poet Society knives, the Warriors, is uh, my making that one knife and kind of showing it off and everything. So we, we uh, uh, you know, went through the process, went ahead and got the Warriors going. And as I was doing it, I wanted to try a couple little things. And I was practicing some stuff. As well as I thought, well, since I sold my Rogue, um, I wanted to replace one for myself and, and have one. And uh, like my, my buddy always tells me, he says, uh, why do you keep your knives? Why don't you just sell them? I said, well, because I like it. He says, yeah, but you could just make another one. I'm like, I know, but I like those. And so, But it's probably better to sell than not to. So... Um, so at the making of this video, I don't have any knives, I don't think, in inventory. I don't know a lot to see. Um, I'm, before making, be, by, by making the video, I'm actually getting ready to go out someplace and do a little trip, and I'm taking whatever knives I have that were shop knives. I'm taking those with me, and I'm uh, going to sell all those maybe, and then whatever's left is going to go on the website. So by the time this video comes out, there might be or might not be knives on the website. I don't know. But anyhow, this is my Rogue. And what I did is um, I did it in I did an acid stone wash finish, but I did it with uh, kingwood. And learning about some of the woods, like I've just put out the, the poster recently. Every shop needs a pinup, and it's the wood database. Uh, I went in there, and actually, you know, I like coco bolo quite a bit, but kingwood is actually harder than coco bolo, as well as uh, ipe. I was going to use ipe because I haven't done a knife in ipe nor kingwood. And both of those are a lot harder. They're in 33, 3500, something like that. Uh, Janka hardness, uh, pound foot. And I'll probably put it down here as I'm talking. But uh, So it worked really nice. And I had this one piece of kingwood, so I opted to use it for this. And uh, what I did is I did an acid stone wash finish with nickel silver tubes. And I did a decorative uh, pin in front, or in the middle here. And it's a new pin that I recently got a hold of. And it was a uh, elk and uh, a mountain scene and stuff like that so I did that for myself I was just kind of you know uh, um, I just wanted to try something a little different I haven't used those pins at all so I wanted to kind of put them in a knife and show it off but um, and because I'm going on this outing I wanted a knife to, to carry on myself as we go out and do chores and do everything and I wanted a knife but uh, and then I also went ahead and I used that uh, raptor skin and it, I think it's chestnut is the color brown and then I did a matching leather belt loop and I tooled it. I did the tooling kind of similar to what I did with the uh, Montana sheath that I had finished in the past. Is I went ahead and tooled this the same way. Then I um, I dyed it, and then I used some antique finishing and I rubbed that down, cleaned it all up, and then uh, finished it off with a little uh, Obanoff's uh, leather protectant. But uh, you know, I'll put the pictures in here as we're talking, of course. But yeah, really nice. You know, the Rogue is a, a 10-inch uh, full 
length taper tang and uh, I really like the feel. I like how the, the, the forward part for the inter integral hand guard uh, goes forward like this so it really fits well with the hand as well as um, if you're you're carrying it like this and a lot of guys that do the combat fighting they'll put with the blade forward and it fits really good with the meat of your hand right there but really looks nice when you want to get in there with your uh, thumb. Uh, what's also nice is sometimes when you use uh, knives for with a ferro rod as like the Montana that I did in some other knives you use the spine. Well the Rogue actually has a, a false grind across the top but what's really nice is there's still a little square spot right here that I've left for something like that for the ferro rod but you can also use the ferro rod right here in the choil because it's a large finger choil. You see it's about the size of my finger diameter right there and that worked really well too. So yeah, so I'm really happy with it. I'm really pleased with the shape and everything and uh, how it feels and I just wanted to share it with you and uh, just give you guys another idea on what options there are for knives such as the Rogue. So, uh, guys, do appreciate it. Thank you very much for all the support and uh, the like and shares and everything. Keep an eye on uh, cknifeandtool.com as well as Instagram and Facebook. I put a lot of updates there. Uh, until the next video, you guys take it easy. Have a good one. Take care. Bye.